Pivot tables are old school. This new Excel function, group by, can summarize data faster with way more flexibility. And yes, it can also perform multiple aggregation function at once. Here's how you do it. We're going to start off by a basic group by function. The first argument is the column that you want to group by, which is going to be product. The second argument is the aggregating column. And the third argument, let's put the aggregation function as sum. And the fourth argument, let's say we're gonna not going to add a header because we already got a header here. Then the next argument will be let's add a grand total by putting grand total here as one. And then the final argument here uh, would be the sorting. Here, if you specify one, and you close parenthesis and enter, it will do sorting based on column one. Now, we want to sort based on our total sales here. So we're going to say two, but you can see that it is sorted in ascending order. If you want descending order, simply say minus two like this and hit enter. Now your table is sorted by total sales in descending order. You can see that the group by function only allows for one aggregation function. If you want multiple aggregation function, you have to use a hashtag function. And then you're going to say sum. Now you can see that the hashtag doesn't know what kind of aggregation functions that's available in the group by function. You just have to remember it. Over here, it's going to say average. Next one is count. And the next one here on my table will be percentage of close parenthesis for hashtag and if you hit enter you can see that it creates this kind of table as you can see on the group by function although you explicitly say you don't want any header it did put a header on your table output here now to get rid of it simply encapsulate the group by with a drop function the first argument on the drop will be the group by and the second argument will be the row that you want to drop i'm going to say the very first row which is our header which will get rid of the header for you now you can simply format this into percentage like this and then there you go, job complete.